Welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clemenson, and in today's episode, I want to talk to you about desperate times. Now, desperate times does not necessarily mean desperate measures. And what I mean by this is that I am seeing some absolute tomfoolery in the market right now. And I'm sure you guys are starting to see this this as well. But, you know, when times are great, I feel like recruiters have got enough work, they stick to their patch, and, you know, everyone kind of jostles into their niche, and, and we kind of hum along. But when things tighten up, right, when markets shrink, when the, an economy shrinks or or markets move, recruiters are then starting to plow in and go, where can I find work? You know, I, want, I need to get busier, right? Fine. That's just the natural cycle of recruitment. But what I'm seeing, which is blowing my mind, is some really, really desperate um, actions by recruiters. And, and I'm here today to say, stop it. If this is you, and this is not to protect what I'm doing, I'm actually quite happy for you to go and ruin your reputations and carrying on the way you are. But if you are doing it, just listen to this, okay? You're not impressing anyone. You will not create a long-term desk doing these sort of behaviours. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing people, I'm getting clients, right, who give me a brief and go, great, and I know they only use me, right? So I'll, I'll go to market, get a candidate, interview them. Candidate goes, yeah, that sounds great. Let's go for it. And obviously in that interview, I'm asking, have you been represented to this company before? And I said, no, not at all. Um, haven't spoken to them before, haven't had my CV there, haven't spoken to a recruiter who has said that they're going to send me there. So you go, great, green lights, let's go. You get consent, um, you send it to the client, and the client turns around and says, oh, I saw this CV this morning, or I saw this CV last night. Really? How? Anyway, you ask the candidate, and they go, you know, I have no idea how that CV ended up in that company's. So you start, you know, in that company's inbox, you start digging, and you go, this doesn't make any sense. So I go back to the client and I say, what was the name of the recruiter that sent that to you? And they gave me the name. I went, oh, okay, interesting. Um, not a lot you can do. This happened a number of times in the space of a week. And what was happening, this agency had decided that they would find a CV on the back end of Seek or someone who was open to opportunities on LinkedIn and they would actually just start sending their profile to companies without interviewing the candidate, without any consent, um, and, and the candidate had no idea that it was happening. And so I can see why a recruiter might think this is an easy way to make quick wins. And to be fair, they probably get some wins out of it. But I can tell you this, right? The moment we cottoned on to what was happening, we tell our clients like, hey, next time you get that CV in, can you call the, the recruiter and say, have you spoken to this individual? Because I bet you that they haven't. Long story short, right? These recruiters out there flying unvetted CVs to the market getting a little bit of interest here and there, but now it's starting to come to the surface that they're actually just a cowboy and they're doing some really dodgy shit and it's not great for the industry. And I'm out there telling clients, you don't want people like this representing your brand. If that's how they're going to represent candidates, what on earth are they doing for your brand? They're the unethical guys that are probably going to be heading from your team. So you'll have tons of me in the ear of these companies and clients saying, I just don't think this is the behavior you want representing your brand, right? And this is what's happened. They've said, oh, right, gotcha. That makes so much sense, Brett. Yep, we're going to block them. So it's a very short-term game you're playing if this is what you're doing. And if this is you and you're guiltily going, fuck, this, that's exactly what I do, um, I would stop it, right? I don't think you're impressing anyone. There's better ways to do it. What, the hustle you're showing, let's look at the positive. The hustle you're showing is great. The get up and go you're showing is great. You just, there's, there's a couple of missing steps, right? And so this, if this is you, I hope it's not, but if you're trying to crack a new market, and I'm always to say you've got to bust down doors with CVs, just make sure you've vetted the CV. Or if you're sending a profile, it's confidential. So you're not sending the profile. Still, same activities, way different response, result because clients will go, okay, no, you didn't actually send me the CV. You're still going to gauge where the market sits and and um, you're not burning a potential candidate in the market and ruining your reputation, let alone theirs, um, in, in doing those activities. So look, desperate times does not necessarily call for desperate measures. And, you know, honestly... I see people around me, my competitors doing some silly stuff like this. I laugh and I think this is fantastic. This is only good. So when the opposite to what they're doing is in desperate times is actually focus on the quality. This is where you need to get real close to your clients. This is where you really need to advise them. This is where you need to sit back and go, I understand you haven't got the work coming at the moment. It's a little bit tight, but that's cool. I don't need, I'm happy to just hang here. Happy to give you advice. I'll help you where I can um, on, on bits and bobs. 
And um, just keep those relationships going because if you can help them, give them some market intel, what are the competitors doing, what's the general market saying, Get give them value that's beyond recruitment right now if you're having a tight market. And when that work comes back, guess what? You're top of mind and they're coming to you. Don't do this desperate shit, flicking CVs out unvetted. Ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to help you or your brand, okay? And I can guarantee you, you ain't going to last in that market. And um, yeah, just do the right thing, okay? So we have time for you today. Like, share, subscribe. Have an amazing day. And as always, may all your deals come true.